Entonces, Adriana Dorta. I am Venezuelan. I live in Key Biscayne, Florida. And through my art, I like to transmit passion, love, and peace. Since a very early age, I, I was always um, looking for ways to, to create things with anything I could hold in my hands. But um, as I, I, I grew up and I, I always continue like taking little classes and courses and um, my family always saw it as a hobby as well as I did. I went to, to school, I graduated from business, then I did uh, a few years of law studies, but I had always continued uh, my hobby, uh, learning about uh, ceramics, mosaics, and my passion, which was uh, stained glass. Um, we moved uh, at a very early age to Paris and that inspired me very much but after seeing those spectacular stained glass uh, windows from those magnificent uh, churches in Paris. So after that, I, I continue my hobbies and uh, evolved with photography and continue with painting. It wasn't until 2008 that I had uh, more free time for myself, since my son uh, was older, that I decided to go back to school. And um, I joined uh, a university here in Miami, a art school, and uh, did my visual arts. And since then, I haven't stopped creating and playing with different materials. Uh, I love um, and I am very much inspired by the great masters, uh, especially our Venezuelan great masters, Soto, Cruz Diez, Subero, among many others. And uh, I try to recreate, uh, inspired by these gra great grand creators of the movement, Part, they were some of the, of the group that created um, the um, kinetic um, styles. So I've been, you know, right now I'm, I'm working on aluminum, titanium, uh, acrylic. I, I just uh, enjoy very much uh, the fact that through art, you can express so many things. Uh, more than just um, an image. You can transmit uh, energy, passion, uh, feelings of love and peace. And that's kind of my, my idea. I, um, I, I, I love art in general. I love different materials, styles, um, but I follow the advice of uh, one of the greatest masters I had the pleasure of meeting um, that, that worked all his life in um, this style. And he mentioned to me to continue, to continue this path until the last consequences. That, that, those were his specific words. And uh, also, I follow the advice of curators that I admire and respect, and they have they have also commented to me the same. The same. So, it is to me very easy to be in this in this path of geometry, magi, uh, kinetic, because as I was telling you before, how I was impressed with those. Um, stained glass windows and the refraction of the light and, and how the eye perceives it. I, it's a fascination to me. So I try to research and study the ways of the optical human uh, eye perceives the light. And lately I've been studying um, 
the, the theory of color and light. And uh, I'm fascinated also with the diffraction of, of light um, through color. And um, I've, I've created uh, a new um, cycle of pieces that I'm currently making in Nali where, uh, where there are different panels with different dimensions that as you perceive them, you could, you could feel uh, actually uh, a movement and um, even the colors interchange and, and become um, not, extreme, not perfectly clear to the eye. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm researching that area. And I, I love it. And, and on the other side of the question, I believe we have a big responsibility as artists because it's a way to, to inspire younger generations or people that are you know, pursuing this path. And one is it's very possible to do so, um, but you have to do it with preparation it's not something that you just go and and, and play around it's, it's you have to study you have to prepare yourself you have to try to you know take it seriously and and be persistent and i think that's part of our responsibility uh, to to try to be the best uh creators or, or whatever we end up making you know to, to be the best thing we could do um and also um, a way to, to, to transmit, to transmit peace, love, beauty. We're surrounded by so many difficulties in our world nowadays that we need to look for hope. So that's, that's how I envision my work. Venezuela is a great country. It's, it's a very large country. We have over 25, 30 million people living in, in currently. But unfortunately, our governmental situation is depriving um, all the human beings there uh, with so many things that we usually take for granted. And to me, it's very important, this opportunity, five in motion, a group of five Venezuelan ladies that we never knew each other, until Ms. Elizabeth Castillo put us together, um, gave us the opportunity to showcase in her gallery in Miami. And now that um, the museum is, is, is taking us uh, as a group, uh, it's a privilege and a great opportunity to show everyone that Venezuela is much more than the tragedy we are used to see in the news. Venezuela have a lot of uh, talented people, good people, uh, professionals, talented, and, and hardworking. So here is a presentation of one of those uh, five, sorry, for, from uh, five ladies Venezuelans that, that are trying their hardest, that, uh, to make a difference and to display to you that what Venezuela is, is more than what you usually see.